Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to coverage of high school basketball on Manchester Public Television Services. We are at the Simon Gym on the campus of Central High School here in the city for an intra-city matchup. The Memorial Crusaders have uh, made the two-mile trip. And we're about to begin. I'm Peter Capano, joined tonight by Tom Bazillion. Tom, how are you? Doing well, doing well. Good to be an interesting game. Should be a good one. Uh, again, these two teams played uh, on Tuesday with uh, Memorial taking a 46-41 win. It's interesting to note that uh, this Memorial team has uh, Flurry, I think, and Jalen Johnson got together there. and She got banged out of bounds with the ball on the rebound. Uh, Memorial's shorthanded. Only eight players ready to go tonight for Memorial. Yeah, they have a key, couple key injuries and uh, a couple kids out. I was talking to the coach beforehand. Coach Greg Kutcher, of course. Here's the turnover. Hobart brings it down, gets it to Johnson. She misses the layup and goes out of bounds and then grabs the ball. Oh, it was already out, so it is a central throw. Excuse Must me. Must have been on the line, I guess. <laughs> central. Central, of course, in home white. They are starting uh, number 11, Emily Hobart, a 5'3 sophomore. Number 14, Jalen Johnson, a 5'5 junior. Number 23, Bree Pietraniero Hamilton, a senior at 5'8. And uh, it's her at the line right now. Number 24 is Aaron Flurry, a 5'5 senior. And number 33, McKenna Schneiderman, a 5'8 sophomore. Talking to Coach uh, Kutro before the game, uh, Central got up 20 more shots the other night than Memorial did. Memorial still pulled the win off. So wow. He's going to try to cut, cut. There's a nice uh, press breaker there. It's a good job. Good finish. That was Moran on the end of that break. She laid it in. A little 2-1 two, two, full court. Of course, we were here. Uh, for the boys game the other night, so we didn't see these two teams play. I wonder if they're getting a look at new new presses or if uh, if they're aware of it because they, they faced it uh, a few days ago and we were able to practice. Right, I mean, I would think they would come up with something new if they were going to play back-to-backs. And Memorial can't press too much with only eight kids, right? Right. Wearing masks and uh, eight players dressed. It's going to be a tough. Second, of course, coached by Mike Winters. Uh, for the Memorial Crusaders, they start number five here with the ball. Jess Carrier, 5'3", co-captain, senior. Number four is Ryan Moran, a 5'8", senior, co-captain. Number 12 is Sierra Banks, a 5'7", junior. Number 14, Erin McCoy, a 5'7", junior. And number 23, Madison Petra Omani, a 5'6 freshman here with the ball. Buzz. Wow, got a freshman on the court. Yeah, she looks pretty poised when she had the ball a couple times. She looked nervous about it. So. She, uh... <laughs> the car. She doesn't look like a freshman either. She's uh, listed here at 5'6". Two, two, one. Trapping. That's the way to break it. Get somebody in the middle. In this case, it's Hamilton. Cross court to Hobart's here. Up top to Aaron Fleur. Fleur. According to newspapers, she had 14 points in that first game and was uh, the highest scorer on the floor. Yeah, finishing up from before, I guess uh, Memorial had 19 turnovers the other day as well. So obviously, if the Central got 20 more shots off, we had to do some turnovers. It's almost five per quarter. Right, so I mean, they cut down on that. I mean, and they still won the game, so they must have shot the basketball very well. Fred McNeil on the call. Blowing the whistle along with Chris Morgan here tonight. Blowing it or pushing it? Or pushing it, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> pushing the electronics. Right. Use the thumb. 
Here's Hamilton. She's twisting and turning and finds her way through. Nice job using her pivot foot there. Without traveling. She was a... Uh, and she's a senior. I'm thinking of Schneiderman was a freshman last year. And she is defensively. A little elbow to the back, and she's going to pick up the foul, the first foul of the game. We're live here tonight. Buzzy from the Simon Gym. It's great to get out of the house, isn't it? It's great to be live anywhere. We're lucky to be able to be here <laughs> yeah. and see a basketball game yeah. in person. This, of course, is the 22nd of January. Yesterday was the 21st day of the 21st year of the 21st it's century. A turnover. Hobarts with the three, leaves it short, but it works perfectly as a pass to Hamilton. She lays it in, has four points. Hamilton's got a couple under the hoop so far. So Mon, she kicks it back out. Carrier off the two, McCoy. Carrier gets it back. Excuse me, Moran. With speed, here comes Flurry. She likes to go door to door, but this time she pulls it back, gets it to Schneiderman. Jumper is off. Omani is out of bounds. Lucky for her, she threw it into yeah. Hamilton. Don't save it under your own hoop, right? Not unless you're <laughs> sure you can get it to your teammate. Tuck it under your arm and keep going. It's a hard lesson to learn, my friend. She'll learn, you've got four years to do it, right? Yeah. Johnson yeah. with the jumper. And Central's out to a 7-2 lead. They're in a 2-1-2 press here. Trap, trap in the front court. Got to get it over that half court line. Carrier does. <coughs> Carrier's seen a lot of uh, pressure over here. Her career at Memorial. There's a home run pass from Hobart, but it sails over Schneiderman. Two sophomores. <laughs> Three thirteen left here in the first quarter. Central by five. Baseline goes Banks. She's got it. Nice move. Both teams still pressing. That's a good pass. Cross court now to Johnson. She has that range. She'll stay, uh, square up and put it up. Comes off. Tracked down by, uh, looks like Emily, Emma Rossi, number 22 on for Memorial. This is Carey. Off for Taylor McNelly. Yeah, that hit the uh, stanchion up above, the pipes up above the backboard and is out, therefore out of play. So that should be central ball underneath the basket. Press so far by Central's patients uh, breaking the press. I mean, they've done a nice job finding gaps in the zone. Done a nice job so far. Well, they've, they've been running uh, Hamilton into the middle. There she is, yeah. and then she snaps it to one side or the other. And gets it back in this case. That's a really nice job. That's right uh, like you draw it up yeah. right there. Beautiful work. Makes it 9-4 Central. Two minutes left in the first. I don't know how long Memorial wants to wants to go full court like that. So Central's getting their easy offense out of it. Carrier. Plus with their eight guys and they have to work offensively with, with Central running a full court press. And then it's physically taxing right. to uh, uh, press like that. And they're wearing masks. Yeah, totally different. Let's see. This is Carrier. Well, Carrier, her brother uh, had a good career at Memorial. 
And her dad was very prominent in uh, CYO basketball here in the city for I years. Kidding. Yeah. I do remember Carrier on the boys' side. Right. They're both lefties, you can tell. They're, <laughs> kind of, they're continuing to press. And the same thing, right? Yes. Buto, Lauren Buto, number 13 on for Central. Ball goes over her head. Hobart's tray tracks it down. Double dribble. I wasn't sure that was double dribble, right? But it wasn't <laughs> called. <laughs> she she bounced it on the floor one time to, to gain possession. Right. And that was her dribble. At least that's what I would have expected. by Hobart's, tracked down by Emma Rossi. Rossi, a 5'5 sophomore. Into the lane. Comes loose, though. Johnson picks it up. She's got Hobart's up ahead. She's got Flurry out of the right, but she's got a path to the goal. Can't make the layup. Took a little bump. Not enough for the foul. Johnson very act active on defense, though. She's had her hand in the lane, passing lanes three, four times already. She made the right decision there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. She had the lane. We had a great angle right here, and it, it opened right up. She had the left-handed uh, attempt, just couldn't convert. It's McNally in the lane, the running right hand, or she's fouled. Let's see who it's on. Oh, 14. It's on Johnson, her first. Team's third. And it's nine six. As we're inside the last minute. Flurry with a good entry. Good look. And Hamilton converts. She's got to be our high scorer so far tonight. Carey looking for a way around Flurry. Gives it off. Nelly gets it back to Jess. Carey a baseline. Johnson with the rebound. She'll lead the break. She's got numbers. Goes to Hobart. She's down on the baseline. Jumper won't drop. Good rebound by Flurry, but she's out of time. And we're going to end it after eight minutes at 11 to 6. Not a lot of turnovers there. I mean, both teams playing pretty clean. Um, I thought Johnson had a really good quarter. I don't think she's really in the scoring book. But uh, defensively, she was she got most of the defensive rebounds down here and a couple of steals and then leading the break a couple of times once where she missed that layup and right there was a nice look. And so she had a good quarter and Memorial, um, I mean, they're getting some decent shots. I don't think they turned it over as much as they did the other night. Yeah, they only put up six points. So right. the shooting was the weak point, certainly for, for Memorial. Uh, Central got some... Uh, nice looks inside, especially for uh, Bree Hamilton. Yeah, I remember th at least three uh, that she converted. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed by their patience. I mean, they, they just they see the floor really well and, and uh, don't rush things. You know, you yeah. see the difference. You know, I don't I don't get to a lot of girls' games, but um, you, you can see the difference in their patience when the guys are going 90 miles an hour sometimes. <laughs> You know, trying to break that press and right. dribble it off their foot. And these girls are, you know, it's drawn up. Here's your press breaker, and that's the way that they're running it. They're running it like it's drawn up. It works. They got two layups off of it so far. I think Coach may uh, call off that, that full court. Right. Then fine. you get defenders out of position, right? Sometimes, yes. Yeah. All right, in the game, number 15, Reham Imam, a 5'4 junior for Central. 
Here's Johnson with Flurry. Flurry with the soccer inbound pass. What we call a skip pass, I guess, in basketball now. That was hopeful for uh, Johnson and knocked out of bounds by Banks. Flurry in the corner. Back to Johnson. She's got the three up. It's in. Central leads 14 to 6. Romani. The corner to Banks. The other corner. It hits the side of the backboard. That'll be central ball. Memorial continue to substitute. It's smart with only eight players. Just keep keep them coming in and out. And they're coming back to the 2-2-1. Two, two, so this is going to work on it, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Ooh, that was, was a hard skip pass. pass. That was Johnson. That is, I got another layup on it. That. that was a long pass by right. Jalen Johnson, and she got it there. But it's the gaps, right? When, you, when you're when going against his own press, that's what you want. You want to get, find gaps on the floor. And uh, they're doing it. I mean, that was a nice job there and another layup out of it. I think that's their third layup. So, And a 10-point lead for the little green. Johnson, it seems to me, had an option of, of going uh, a short pass, the, the same line. But, right. Um, she went over that player and the defender who was behind her all the way over to... Uh, Whoever it was on the far side. A I mean, memorial with the 2 2 1, they're not really trapping in the front court as much as they should be. Uh, if, you, if you're running that, you should be you should be trapping the basketball, especially when, when someone stops a dribble. And they're kind of just coming up, and, and that's making it easier on Central. Yeah, there's no trapping going on at all, is there? That's a great point. Gary into trouble. Kicks it out to Omani. She takes the three and oh. nails it. Freshman with the three. She wasn't afraid. Wow. She just chucked it out a couple feet behind the line there, too. Yeah. She got a piece of that one. That central can start now. Flurry in the corner. Down low to Buto. Flurry gets the rebound. Ends up on the floor. We end up with a hell ball. Nice hustle by Flurry there, though. She kept it alive. Went to the floor. Flurry is a uh, standout soccer player. She looks like it. <laughs> but she's she's a great athlete, and she's got a nose for the ball, Buzzy. I'm telling you, she can get find the ball. She can get it off the backboard. She can get it off the floor. Um, and she's terrifically strong. So when she gets her hands on it, she usually stays in her possession. You know what? That's a nice move by the freshman right there. Oh, my. She does not look like a freshman out there. No. See, that's where you should bounce trap it, pass. right there. Yeah, she got the bounce pass off. Hamilton. Front rims it. Look at her. Yeah. Flory, get the ball, I'm telling you. Scrapper. She's terrifically quick. It's heading for Syracuse, Buzzy, to play basketball, uh, soccer. Goodness. As Johnson yeah, lights impressive. it up. 19-11, the five minute mark here in the second quarter. That was Johnson's second three there, right? Yes. Springing down the rain, that thing gets up there. <laughs> nice arc on that, dude. Yeah. Good rebound by Imam. She kicks it out. Here's Aaron. Stops. Kicks it out wide to Buto, one of her uh, soccer teammates here at Central. I'm with Hobart, as a matter of fact. Johnson. Jalen all the way. Decent defense, but look who's there to pick up the loose ball. It's Flurry. And then she 
Rebounds her own miss. Iman in the corner. She pulls the trigger. She's back in there again. She's got a hand on that one, too. The girls everywhere. Nineteen to eleven here at the four minute mark. You gotta be getting gassed going ninety miles an hour like that with a mask on now. You oh, gotta yeah. think, you know, it's like Yeah. I mean I, I suppose they get used to it. There must be conditioning with them on and uh, getting used to it a little bit more. Well, to be honest, I, I saw uh, Bedford teams uh, play soccer with masks on this yeah. fall. And I thought it was ridiculous, really, especially since they were outside. Well, in the fall, yeah. I mean, you know, they talked but about football. Uh, and, and, you know, God, I had a hard time having one on on the sidelines. <laughs> I'm not even doing anything besides <laughs> yelling. I'm like, I can't have one on because then the refs can't hear me, right? Right. <laughs> that might be a good thing. <laughs> I, I remember the time thinking or saying probably right out loud that they can't do that in basketball. It just won't work in basketball. Right. And yet, here we are. Yeah. But they're playing. Nice shot. That's a good look by Taylor McNally. That's her three makes it 19-14. Coach was telling me that she gave them a spark the other night as well off the bench. 5-6 junior. A little more trouble that time. All right, they're getting press. a little bit more pressure. Still a little late with the trap, but that was a little better. It's Fleury. Timeout red on that one, as uh, Coach Coutro didn't want to give up the held ball. That's getting a little tighter now. A little spark from Memorial there last couple times. Central's getting some good shots, but uh, they're starting to miss a little bit. Again, I don't see it. Central's not that deep either. Well, they have nine, ten. I think it's 12, yeah, 12 yeah. on the roster. Right. There's a couple that haven't been in yet, so. Right. Yeah. We haven't seen uh, Barton. I'm not sure. The girls are definitely going to use the halftime to rest. No doubt about that. <laughs> it's coming up in <laughs> three minutes. There are only a uh, total of 87 points scored in the first game between these two. I think they're a little below that scoring average here tonight. A running right hand if it hand. Won't go. Here comes Hamilton. She kicks it up to Hobarts, up top to Fleury. She will reset the offense. Is there the corner? Draws some traffic. Buto. It's a good look there though. Come off the screen. Nice shot. She's not falling right now. Moran gets it to carry. Here comes Jess. Twisting and turning. Going to be a foul on Flurry, I think. That could have been a travel, too. It was. Yeah. Yeah. That could have been. It might have been a hand on the on the forearm there, though, that we couldn't see from here. And let's see. Inbound to Moran. Corner to carry. Jumper for McNally. Won't go. The rebound goes to Rossi. This back to McNally. Now in the corner to Moran. Round, round nice the look. Cut. On the cut came Emma Rossi. She banked it in and picked up the foul. It's good cut. Good look. That's classic Memorial right there. Right. I mean, they, they were much more patient there on offense. And uh, getting a better shot off. So. And the sophomore, Rossi, made the cut through the lane and was picked out and rewarded. Won't drop in. They caught it to a one possession game. 19, Three points. 19 16. 
Flurry. Uto. Oh, excuse me, make that Schneiderman. First quarter, Central was a little bit more patient with the ball. and Now they're rushing things a little bit more. One, two passes and launching it. In the first quarter, they were much more patient. And I think that's affecting their offense. They've been stuck on uh, 19 for a while now. Yes. Jumper from Carrier. Won't go. Rebound falls to Flurry. She hesitates and then leads the break. Could her get the rebound? I think she'll get two. Or is it just out of bounds? Where's Aaron gone? The ball, ball get into the, the elevator. Over there. <laughs> that, by the way, is what I call the slowest elevator in the world. <laughs> there we go. Johnson, got it. He's got it off America. That's a, that's a, we call that inbound play America because everybody in America runs it. <laughs> The inbounder gets a three in the corner, right? Yeah, you inbound it and you go to the corner and you get it back. All right. That's her third three, I believe, Johnson. And they all look like that. Yeah. Those rainbows. Now oh, that's a great look by Hobarts to Johnson. Knew she was out there. Jalen couldn't handle it cleanly. But gives it back to Emily, and she's got the conventional three opportunity. Nice take. She's got the lane. Straight to the hoop, no messing around. One in the foul. Foul came in on Erin McCoy, her first. Just the third foul on the uh, Memorial team. So Coach Coach Rose has got to be happy about that, seeing he's, as he's limited in players tonight. You're going to go for the last shot here. 15 seconds left in the first half. Five seconds. There's a jumper from McCoy. Won't go. Johnson with the rebound, but time is expired. So at halftime, it's 24 for the Little Green and 16 for the Crusaders. Yeah, it was a nice half by Central. I mean, they came out really patient in the first quarter. So they had a burst over a little, a little bit of five minute stretch there where they. You know, they missed a lot of open shots, and they got a little bit more impatient offensively, and Central cut it, uh, Memorial cut it to three, right? Yes. And then uh, last couple of possessions were the inbound three, and then they got a nice uh, run into the lane, so open it back up to what, an eight-point lead? That's yeah. what it looks like. It yeah. was a five-point lead at the end of one, and, uh, and now it's eight. Let's take a, a short break, Buzzy, and uh, come back. Sounds good. All right, our, it's almost a virtual halftime there, uh, there, Buzzy, isn't it? I mean, yeah. The teams stay right out here. They're, they're socially distanced, and the coaches coach right in front of us. Probably Another part of the weirdness. Yeah, part of the crazy <laughs> COVID season. Yeah. Um, the uh, high score. At halftime, here's Jalen Brown with 11. No surprise there. Hamilton has nine for Central, so they account for 20 of the 24 points. Johnson, right? Jalen Johnson. Johnson, yeah. yes. What did I say? I don't think you said Brown. But there she goes again. Oh. Well, and short, but she gets the rebound. Now that reminds me. I believe last year, Buzz, you told me nobody ever follows up on a three-point right. shot. Right. <laughs> It stuck with me well, all Well, no year boys long. do. <laughs> so, you know, I guess the girls are another story. Hobart's putting pressure on. Carrier handling it like a pro. Jess, left-handed runner, won't drop. And Hobart's tracks down the rebound. She gets conked by Carrier, I believe. We'll get a look. So Mr. Morgan makes the call. It is on... Jess, it's her second. And Memorial still will press. 
like they've extended a little further down. Here comes Flurry. You know, she just went right down the middle, though. You know, there's no trap, no nothing. So it's a 2-2-1. Two, two, Omani with the rebound. Boy, did she have pressure. She managed to get it out, and here she comes. Yeah, she looks poised as a freshman. Got her left hand here. She's going to take that and shot. It's a decent go, too. Rebound falls to McCoy. She gives it to Carrier. McCoy again. Hobart's on her. Reverse layup won't drop. Rebound to Hamilton. Gives it to Hobart. Flurry with some room. Doesn't take the jump. Hobart's will. Rebound to Carrier. Comes back. Pushes it up to McCoy, her jumper. Rattles yeah. in. Memorial pushing the ball up a little bit that time. Got him an open look. McCoy got her hand on that one. Johnson to the basket. Can't get it to drop. But the putback by Hamilton. Yeah, I mean, Johnson missed it, but then she got a hand on the rebound, tipped it to her teammate. So she's been a best player on the floor tonight so far. 26-18 here in the third. Moran off the carrier. On to McCoy. Oh, I think uh, Johnson got a hand on that yeah. shot. Yeah, she's been very active defensively and leading the team on offense so far. Hands on her knees, it's just Carrier. Can't say I blame her. No, I mean, <laughs> can't catch her breath under that mask. Gonna take it to the hoop, though. Two shots, Flurry's gonna pick up the foul. It's a nice penetration there, saw a gap in the defense and went right to the hole. Third foul on Flurry. Scoring a little more spread out on the Memorial side. It was Omani with five, McNally with four, Banks with four. Carrier Banks both both free throws. Makes it 26 20. That's a good look. Well, Buzzy, you gotta like the way that Hobart's caught that ball and didn't put it on the floor. Just right. made that second pass. Yeah, I mean, they. They continue to do that. Uh, that was a little bit more active the last couple of times uh, with their zone pressure, Memorial. Central beat it that time. But they're getting a little bit more active on it. In the first half, I thought I thought they just set it up for Central to break it. It was pretty pretty easy to break. They're getting more active, pushing, pushing themselves more in the front court. Yes. The effect is, hasn't been much different, but no. it may. They haven't got any turnovers off of it yet, but. McCoy got her hand on one. It's close to being a steal. It's carry. Top jumper from Rossi. She took a little bump. Money to inbound for the Crusaders. Ooh. Moran made that pass almost without looking. Flurry almost picked it off. Carrier did enough. And it's Omani. Johnson with speed. Good hustle defensively there. It's a good push by Johnson. They're running the lane and this good hustle defensively. Emily Rossi doing the yeah. defensive work. She that filled time. the lane, nice. Well, there's a nice inbound oh. play. As uh, Hamilton just kind of stood there and she was ignored. Can't get any more simple than that one. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And guess who made the pass to her, Buzzy? Right. It's Johnson. That's a travel. <laughs> I like that though. She laid backwards and made the pass backwards over her head. It was completed. It was so just I'll, travel. See, they're trapping a little differently now. They got three three people in the front court. It's a good pass though by Hamilton. Yep. Cross court there. Hobart's with a fake and some room. The running right hander won't back in. Rebound went to Schneiderman. She's got it back. She's playing pass with Fleury up top. Kenner will probably go down low. Hamilton off to Fleury. Another Johnson. In the, in the quiet of this gym, you can you can hear the players talk or attempt to. Yeah. Normally you wouldn't hear a thing in here. You wouldn't, but with the mask, I I still can't quite. Yeah, it's a Tell little what's being said. I was asking Coach Bryson the other night about the mask, and you know, so what happens if you know a player has it down too long? And apparently, it's it's a timeout, so it's gonna it's gonna be a timeout for the team if if it's a stoppage of play with uh, the mask down. Yeah. Good hand by Emily Hobart to knock that one out of play. Here comes Rehem Imam. Getting a score from the uh, Brunstein gym where Central and Memorial boys are ha at it. It's 46-42 uh, Memorial after three. Sounds like uh, they're shooting a little bit better than they did the other night. I don't think they scored 46 in the game, right? <laughs> I mean, look, I, I, I don't believe they did. But no, Memorial had 39 points. Right. In that game. Trying to continue to hit the gaps. It's a nice job breaking it again. Imam with the jumper. It was right on line, but was short. Johnson read it nicely, grabbed the rebound. Right. He's got room for the jumper. Johnson again. Flurry with the fake. And that won't drop. Flurry somehow gets the rebound. Now Johnson. Well, That's that long. rainbow didn't fall. <laughs> there was no pot of gold there. McCoy gets the rebound, but she's tied up. It'll be memorial possession on the arrow. 2.17 left in the third quarter. It's 29, or 28, 20, Central. Yeah, Johnson missed the three that time, but she deserved to take it because she, she scrapped on rebounds twice on that possession. That'll stay Memorial Ball. Here comes Moran and Banks back on for the Crusaders. Jumper from Moran is short. Flurry with the rebound, picks her head up and finds Jalen Johnson. Johnson somehow pries the ball out of the hands. It may have been a reach that was let go, but, but uh, she's aggressive, that's for sure. It's a 10 point game. Carrier. Can't answer. Johnson has got Hamilton ahead of him. Minute and a half left in the third. I was just going to say, Johnson looked uh, a little gas the last couple times down. Coach saw it and got her out of there. The last minute of the quarter. Good move, get her a little extra time. Yep. To rest. No TV timeouts here, Buzzy. Oh. To the basket goes uh, Taylor. 
Uh, excuse me, that's uh, Brian Moran. She's not going to get to shoot? Hmm. Yeah, that looks definitely like a, looked like a shooting foul to me. She had the lane. I don't know. Called it on the floor somehow. Yes, they did. That's deflected. Here comes uh, Lauren Buto. She lays it in. Nice job. She had a defender riding her the whole way. A good finish. That's fake to the basket goes McCoy. She's fouled. Files on uh, Bree Hamilton. Her fourth. If Coach Winter spots that, there's 50 seconds left here in the fourth. His team is up by 12. Yeah, she's coming out now. Yeah, she is. That's when you kick yourself a little bit, but not taking her out the previous possession, right? Three yes. fouls on you. It was a stoppage with a minute. I mean, she should have come out then. Memorial finally gets it. Oh, 55, set. so we're going to full court man here. Flurry almost runs out of court. Manages to put the brakes on. Brings it back up on top. So might be thinking about holding for the last shot. Nope. Just got a little room. Imam reached in there, but it was off the Memorial player. That same stack play again. Schneiderman. Just everybody goes and get get it to the big, just standing there. There you go. No. to Schneiderman. To Flurry. To Buto. 20 seconds. Left in the quarter. Buto, this is Schneiderman. Now Flurry, back to Schneiderman. The shot is blocked. Four seconds left. Half court shot, that'll count, but it won't go. And we go in after three quarters, 32 to 21. The Central opened it up a little bit there. Memorial's going on a little bit of a drought. What did they score in the quarter there, Pete? Five points. Five points, so yeah. They've been on a couple of droughts scoring. They're looking a little gassed with only eight players. Well, we wondered about the effect of that press. Uh, right. And he's still, in, in fact, in the third quarter, instead of going up, he made the press more aggressive. So almost like a... He did. Yeah. Almost like yeah. a one-two-two two press with th three players in, in the front court trying to get a little bit more trap. But, you know, Central's just too patient with it. And, haven't turned it over. I don't. I don't recall a turnover off the press yet. I'm so with they, you. They've done a the Very decent impressive, job. Impressive, really. And and they probably have. I'm guessing ten points off, off of the uh, off of the press breaker. So you know, it's a what eleven point game, and they got a ten points off of that. Well, uh, the how they're going to seed for the tournament apparently is yet to be determined. In the, in soccer, in the fall, it was random. The right. teams, again, were grouped in kind of regions like they are schedule-wise here. Um, but then they randomly, anybody who wanted to be in the tournament could. Right. And and I think that's going to be the case. But there's still some talk about seeding. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, NHIA caught, caught a, a little bit of flack for the way they handled it, I think, in the fall. With uh, I know football was a really uh, a little controversial on a, on a couple of ends as far as like no, the they home did teams seed, and but they did they seed seeded it, but uh, but it was it's uh, always going to be subjective because yeah. you don't play a full schedule yeah. so what can you do and in um, soccer was uh, the same way right they did it no. regionally they did not do well it they regionally. did it regionally but it was uh, completely random oh completely random okay um, so the best team in in our, this region here the the central girls as a matter of fact we had the, the worst seed. And, right. and traveled on a on a really wet, nasty day down to to uh, Wyndham, and were tied and lost in penalty kicks. 
okay. which was kind of a shame. But my, my point uh, I was going to make is that uh, maybe Coach Coutreau is, is looking to really uh, toughen his team up, get them get them fit, get them ready. Oh, yeah. there's no question, yeah. I mean, if these games, if it's going to be everybody it, makes it, and you it know, is. even if you're a lower seed, you got to beat the, the top seed at some point, anyways, right? Right. So might as well be in the first yeah, round. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah, I agree with that 100. percent Yeah, it's just the way they're going to do it. I think, I think, uh, in fairness, you know, you should put put it out there. This is how we're going to do it hmm. at the beginning, and not because you know there's always that perception that yeah, you're yeah. changing things at the right minute, even if it's not happening. And I suppose always, you always get the wrong perception sometimes. Flurry gets a couple free throws after Carrier fouled her. Um, but uh, I suppose it's possible that uh, Memorial has told, or Coach Kutro has told, told his team that that's how they're going to play it. Yeah. We just don't know. I mean, I would def I would do that, especially whereas they didn't have a preseason. So, right. In you know, the first five games, are going to be just get in game shape and everybody's gonna work play on stuff and yeah yeah and see what you're going to do for the second half of the year same goes with the boys you know sure that's a loose pass and it's picked up by emma rossi she hands it off to carry gets it back now over to mccoy and aaron's nice shot to go she's got hurt there boys down though referee yeah. should blow the whistle yeah. i think Fred, yeah, she's and McNeil's on it. He's not going to let her get injured. Yeah, you have but to he's get gonna let the play go. I think she landed on her wrist. She came down hard. Yeah, she got a wrist thing on her. Yeah, she's got tape on her yeah. wrist there. Now that's the last thing Memorial needed is another injury. Oh yeah, that's not good. And in, in the difference, another thing with this with the COVID thing is. You're not getting the swing players, right, from JVs. That's right. So, you know, normally, you know, you'd see, okay, you can play. I've been coaching a couple of years, but I think you can play eight quarters a day now or even, I think it's six. I think it's six. six. So, six. so, you know, um, you, you'd see a, a player play the entire JV game and then dress for the varsity game, right? Right. You're not seeing that now because they don't want that interaction between the two teams, you know? You can't play on both. Right. So that hurts, you know, especially the smaller schools. See the trainer is uh, looking at the wrist of Emma Rossi. Game's been played pretty clean. They haven't gotten a bonus. They didn't get a bonus in the first half. No. And the fouls are four to three now with six minutes left. So there hasn't been a lot of fouls called. Yeah, and the play. referees have, have really let them play. No, it's, it's been a good flow, I think. Yeah, you know? it's been an excellent flow. Even. Now that you mention it. Flurry was fouled. And I have to mention it. And then twice in 10 seconds, we got a foul. And the whistle blows. <laughs> Here comes America. There it is. They were on to it that time. Right. Oh. Flurry hit the three. Flurry got on the scoreboard. She hadn't, I don't believe, scored to uh, this point. She had done everything else, but yes. Yeah, setting her teammates up mostly. 15, Ella Gustafson is on the 5-3 senior for Memorial. We haven't seen her yet today. Good look. Couldn't convert, but look at her kick the pocket. That's uh, Lauren Buto. Oh. She, she made a swift little steal that time. Johnson to inbound. Central by 12. That one has been blocked. Flat out blocks. Comes Carrier. 
Flurry gets down. Carrier is oh. off for travel. Not sure about that one. I never see him. She still had to dribble. Yeah, it seemed to me she was yeah. still dribbling the ball. Thought he was going to call her on the baseline. Right, stepping out of bounds. Yeah. Flurry up top. And Emily Hobart. Out of Jalen Johnson. Not a lot of movement, just some dribbling one side, then the other. Yeah, there's no real rush for Central, so I mean, they can take their time and buy the good steal. Pepper Omani picks it up. A little Euro step. Offensive yeah. foul. Flurry hustling back. He's on the floor again. That spot right in front of her. And you can tell she's a soccer player. <laughs> she's all over the place. Well, she's blessed with a terrific speed. And you know, as we look at the uh, Central, even during timeouts, they're all spread out over there. But you can also get a get a look at the uh, the coaching staff uh, that helps out Mr. Winners over there. Alicia Doucette was a uh, terrific player here, uh, not so long ago, probably in the 2000s. Um, Josh Josh Buto is uh, in the background along with Zoe Stimulus uh, helping out the Little Green this year. It's always great to, to see the help and their volunteers. There's, there's yeah. no money in that, is there? Buzzer? No, no. I mean, you only get so many paid spots. You know, and I tell you what's really re rewarding is when you get your ex-players coming back to coach with you. And, you know, I've been fortunate to have that since I've been at West, um, including my own son and, yeah. uh, and um, some other players that played for me in the past have come on my staff. And, you know, it, it makes you feel old, but... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Still, it's, it's also pretty rewarding, you know, yeah. especially when they uh, seem to know what they're doing. So you must have done something right along the way. Is there someone did, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. What's Memorial doing here? It looks like more or less a full court man to man. But it's yeah, they're clearing it out quick after the first pass, so they're not really putting the full pressure on. Jumper from Buto. It's long. It's on the floor. Flurry the scrapping in there. Handed off to McNally. Now Amani. Madison. Behind no, I've been pretty action. impressed by this girl. You know, she, she doesn't have a lot of points, but she seems pretty poised with the ball. She's smooth. And see, and look at that. You know, I mean. She's handling herself well on the floor. Johnson, head of steam, travel. Walk in. That one I saw. Fred missed that one. It was right in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris called it from way back here. That's all right. He was watching other action going on. That's right. He was watching the, the hands. Right. All right, it's a nine point central lead with 3.40 to go. Miranda takes everything she has to keep possession of that ball. There's a reach by Hobart's, but she just knocked it out of play. Yeah, she was getting doubled there and still held on to it. Let's see what Memorial has for an uh, inbound player. Yeah, see, it's the same one, right? Yep. Come back to the, the corner. The inbounder ends up in the corner. But you got to set that screen. If you don't set the screen, it's not going to work. Moran in the lane kicks it back out to Madison. Flurry gets a hand on it. Romani picks it back up. Nelly. And Jalen Johnson steps into the passing lane, gave it up when she probably shouldn't have. Yeah, I was a little late, you know. They tell you if you pass the free throw line, right? Yeah. And there's nobody in front of you, 
take the lane to the basket. It's all yours. She had Buto in front of her. Got it to her, and she was fouled. No. I think it was just off it. Memorial, yeah. yeah. It's the second time they cut that boy off. Missed it that time. That will be the fourth foul on Aaron Flurry, I believe. Yes. Fourth on the team. Fourth on her, too? Yes. The way she plays, I'm not surprised. No. <laughs> it definitely. Uh, She's only got one not speed. Shy. And she is not afraid of contact. Romani. Oh, oh. Tell you what, keep an eye on her. Wow. Be interested to see how she gets as the season goes around. Yes. I mean, how tough does it have to be as a freshman coming into this situation? Cuts the lead to seven here with uh, 210 left. Plenty of possessions left for Memorial. Central's going to take some time off here smartly. We get under two minutes. Roberts and Flurry hanging on to the ball together. Now it's up to Johnson. Corner to Hamilton. Back up top to Aaron. We're looking at I got a foul here. Yeah. And they'll shoot one and one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. First time tonight. Now. Timeout. Timeout Memorial. That's uh. Let's take a look at the memorial uh, side. There's a uh, former player over there helping out. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's uh, Lauren Bisson, uh, along with uh, Bob Kutcher, uh, helping Coach Kotro on the memorial side, much like uh, we just saw on the central side. Uh, Lauren Bisson was terrific. Every bit the match of uh, Alicia Doucette. Two, uh, two young women that were really fun to watch over the years. Final from, uh, from Memorial. Memorial 59-56, boys. So oh. they uh, definitely improved offensively from the other night. 59-56, Central beat them 59-39. Right. Right so, you know, they scored 20 more points. I mean, you could tell in that game that they had so many good looks in that first yeah, half. Shoot and, well. and they just not, did not shoot well. And, and the scores will be reversed here as well. Um, if things hold, Central has been in charge of this one really since the very yeah. beginning. Um, so what do we know? The home team wins? Is yeah, <laughs> yeah team I guess. Wins? I, I mean, in this situation, in, in any situation, boom. Yeah, but especially in this situation, right? When you've only been in your gym in the preseason, right? Nowhere it's else. Tough playing in somebody else's yeah. gym. It's tough when the uh, bleachers are pulled back. Right. A yeah, whole. That's good hands there. That's a foul. Oh. Yeah, he called yeah, it. He cut it. Hobarts will pick that one up. Just her first one. Yeah, she's uh, slight of frame, Buzzy, but she is not afraid of contact either. It didn't look like it there. Is that Carrier? Yeah, she went down pretty hard. Yeah, it's Jess. Yeah. Looks like she's trying to walk it off. She'll be able to, I think. Bruised and battered would be the Crusaders when they leave here. But if they're lucky in this last minute, they can get a couple turnovers, a couple quick baskets. 
put a scare into Central. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't allow too many passes, though. I mean, you got to get on a foul at this point. You know? Yeah. I mean, that was a pretty hard foul. <laughs> oh, honey, I missed it. It was so, so yeah. far away from the ball, I looked away. Yeah. And uh, it was kind of off the ball. You know, caused Coach Winters to get the old palms up, you know, like, what do we got? That's the third foul on Madison Pepra Omani. Well, you got to make it a free throw contest. You're under a minute at this point. Two passes. If, if you don't get the steal, you got you to foul. Well, he's got the first one. This to make it a nine point lead. That ought to do it. Yeah, that it? should do it. It's under a minute. It's a jumper from McCoy. He won't drop. Got a held ball. That'll be Memorial possession with 33 seconds left. Good play. Johnson reaches in, picks up an ill-advised. Both teams have had some wow. decent looks out, off of out-of-bounds plays. They've done a decent job. Sierra Banks. And Memorial does look banged up. I mean, you got three people on the bench and two of them got ice on. So that's, that's going to be tough. You're going to have to get into the JV team at some point. Yeah, I suspect you can't play with uh, six people, you know? I suspect it's OK to, to call them out. Right, right. You know. But they have to stay up, right? Right. That's what I would think. Romani picked up the foul on Johnson. But it, with 18.3 left, it's going to be Central taking the rematch just as the boys did. Uh, so next week, Buzzy, Monday the 25th, go to the Memorial, see the uh, West boys. That'd be great. For, Six o'clock? Great game. Yeah, let's do it. Coach Bryson will be looking forward to playing against his old team. Sure. And uh, Coach Langlois, new coach at West. So that'll be a very interesting matchup. And then uh, maybe we'll go back to Memorial and see the Concord girls since they come into town on Friday. Stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. But here, it's 38-28. Central wins. Yeah, impressive, uh, impressive win by Central. I thought they wanted uh, scrapping a lot and uh, being very patient in that first half, breaking the press. I think that was the difference in the game. Memorial scored the first basket of the game, but uh, we found themselves behind seven to two uh, shortly thereafter, and uh, Central was never really challenged uh, from then on. Any last thoughts on this, Mr. Uh, no, it was Bizzoli. interesting. You know, I don't, I don't get to do a lot of girls' games, or you know, in the past with my coaching, you know, the girls were always away when we were home, so. I didn't, didn't get to see a lot of girls' game. They're very interesting on uh, how patient they are and how well they run stuff. And uh, compared to the boys sometimes that are a little bit more aggressive and just looking for threes the other night we talked about, right? These girls yes. were going to the hoop a yeah. lot. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was, I was impressed. Well, so good. Looking forward cool. to doing some more. You've, you've missed that all these years. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, there was very rarely the last couple of years when they had uh, girls, boys, double headers. There was a few times where we played with the girls there, and um, and uh, I got to see those, but for the most part, never yeah. got to see them. Well, I, I think back on, on some of the players that, that I've seen here, uh, Whitney Fremo, Christiana Bacolis, uh, and, and many more over the, the Barry girl over at Memorial who could right. make it from here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She had range. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, glad to have enlightened you here <laughs> tonight. And we'll, we'll call it a night, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, Central 
Avengers a 46-41 loss on Tuesday with a 38-28 win here on Friday. And we'll uh, sign off for me, Peter Capano, and Tom Bazoyan. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week on the Game of the Week on Manchester Public Television Services.